Who doesn't love a slow cooker? There's nothing like a nice, easy meal that you can essentially set and forget, making it a recipe for mealtime success. That's why Dinner Tool asked you to submit your favorite slow cooker recipe in their Slow Cooker Showdown contest for a chance to win $1,000 and a KitchenAid slow cooker. Today I'm going to prepare for you finalist Jesse Ambler's Buffalo Chicken Mac and Cheese. It's a spicy twist on a traditional dish. All right, so let's get started on our buffalo chicken mac and cheese. So I already have browned up um, four chicken breasts that we diced up, um, fairly small. We browned it in a pan. I'm just reserving it in this bowl. And then what I have in here, I have one onion that we diced up, two cloves of garlic chopped, and a cup of Frank's red hot sauce that we're using actually the extra hot sauce but then again you can use whatever you like so we're gonna just cook this up till it's nice and soft really really tender and you see how um, lovely that looks we're gonna take our chicken and we're adding it back into the vegetable mixture and we're just gonna toss this and coat it nicely and it smells spicy. I just sprayed my uh, slow cooker with a little of um, nonstick spray. So we're going to add our chicken and vegetable mixture right in there. Now to this, we're going to add two cups of uncooked elbow macaroni. Uncooked, very important, very important. You do not want cooked macaroni, uncooked as well as our milk, a little bit, half a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and three quarters of a pound of diced up cheese, American, Munster, and Cheddar. Just gonna mix this up nicely. So now what we're gonna do is a quick topping for this. So I have about a cup of uh, Japanese breadcrumb and two tablespoons of melted butter. And now we're gonna add a half a cup of crumbled blue cheese. Just gonna mix that up. We're just gonna spread this mixture evenly. We're gonna cover it, set it on low for three hours. And it's time to taste Jesse's spicy buffalo mac and cheese. Wow. Looks and smells delicious. So I'm just gonna put some on a plate here. Thanks, Jesse, for submitting your twist on spicy buffalo chicken mac and cheese. For more slow cooker recipes sure to satisfy your crock pot cravings, go to dinnertool.com.